if you want to create a new file in Adobe Audition, you'll be prompted with these settings. So in order to see that, let me just right click over here inside of new. And over here, let me just select an audio file right here. And here you can name the file just like you, you see right here. And you can also set the sample rate and the bit depth right here. And you can also select the channels. So before we dive on deeper onto this, let us understand what these are first. So right here you can see that there's an audio wave and if I were to zoom it in on this. So let me just select uh, hold control and use my mouse scroll button to zoom in right here. And once I do that, you can see that the audio wave breaks down further. So if I were to zoom in furthermore, you start seeing dots right here, just like that. So if I were to go over here onto this area right here, let me just zoom that in and you can see that there are dots. So these dots are the pixels of audio file. So they play something like connect the dots to recreate the wave and uh, they play back as audio. So these are actually audio pixels as you can see. And now if I were to right click and go to audio file, you can see that there's bit depth. So right now there's a certain range of difference of the dots from top to bottom, just like this. So if we say, let's say, uh, select eight, then the gaps that it maintains are only eight dots uh, in a, um, vertically, just like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just eight dots of difference, which is a lower quality audio. So if you want a higher quality audio and higher a uh, set of details in the audio wavelength, then you have to choose a higher a higher bit depth, just like this. So you can see that eight is the lowest, 16 is, that means that it, it can take up 16 dots of difference right there. 24 means 24 and 32 is 32. So more higher you go, the better quality sound it uh, stores. Uh, but likewise, the size of the audio will double because 816 is double uh, the value just like that. So, but usually we stick to 16. That's the standard. You can go up to 24. Uh, 32 is not really recommended uh, unless you want to do a studio recording itself. But usually 24 does do the trick. Or if you want to file save the file size itself, go to 16. But usually what I uh, suggest you to do is record in 24 and then later you can convert it down into something less like 16. Uh, if you want to say, uh, save it in uh, a lower file size. Another thing you see is the hertz, that is 48,000 hertz is the default as you can see. And there are various options. So starting from range from 6,000 right here to uh, one, 1 million right here. So now what you can do is, uh, let's see, over here, let me just see this dots right here. And you can see that the dot range actually ranges from left to right. and uh, whenever we talk about the sample rate itself, 48,000, uh, when we set something to 48,000, let's go to audio file here, 48,000 means per second, it'll take uh, 48,000 dots, uh, that is 48,000 samples of the dots of the audio wave. Uh, so that is the level of detail. And this is the standard. Uh, um, if you want to save your file size and go to a minimum level, then you can go up till 44,100, but not lesser than that. Anything lesser than that is just for audio recording or for online conversations, not really suitable for studio music production. But if you want a really high quality audio and you want more sample and more depth into the audio, then you go for um, 192, uh, 100 uh, thousand right here. Sorry, I said uh, 1 million last time. It's 100,000 uh, just like this. So the more uh, the sample rate, the more the quality. Uh, channels are just the number of speakers that you have. So mono is just for the front speakers. Stereo is for two speakers left and right. 5.1 is six speakers. That is one subwoofer in the front and left and right speaker, center speaker, and rear left and rear right, uh, right speaker. You can also go for custom and add in the number of speakers as you wish. So you can want, you, you want to do a 7.1 or a 9.1 speaker, you can do that as well, which we're going to discuss about in further lessons right there. So once I do that, I can simply press OK and everything now will be recorded in high quality itself. So whatever I record, it will be recorded in that particular 
uh, format. But uh, mind you that you need specific hardware for that. So if you have a 16-bit mic, recording in 32-bit uh, won't do any good. So right here, now you can you know that the more the number of details, um, the more higher the number, the more uh, the more quality the final output has. So more sample rate means more detail in samples per second and bit depth is the vertical alignment of the dots so the more the higher the number the higher the quality but usually if you want to go for studio production then i say that you go for the highest number but if you just want to do a simple audio recording to be sending a set, a sent through mails and so forth you can go for lower numbers uh, which is usually set to 22,000 uh, something like uh, Viber and Skype users or if you want to go for AMR recording for with the mobile phones used for a very low frequency then something like 800 uh, 8000 would be good as well but usually that is not recommended because it really brings down the voice quality so that is how you can set the sample rate and bit depth inside of Adobe Edition hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe